So this is one of those questions that you don't really hear asked, but you just know that you can't be the only one wondering. Well, for this too, we have an answer. The Jedi were keepers of the peace, not soldiers. They believed in democracy and that the Jedi should have a choice in how they live their lives. However, when it came to the Jedi Order, they had different criteria. Some might say they were controlling, while others believed it was a way of the Order and unification. While almost every other Jedi Master can be seen wearing light colored robes made from the same materials, reflecting their calming and positive nature, the Black Duck stands out, and that is none other than Anakin Skywalker. If we dismiss the fact that there were a few other Jedi with dark colored robes such as Luminara Unduli and Ahsoka, and even Quinlan Vos, we can notice that it's not just Anakin's robes, but his entire tunic and outfit that is dark as well. Then we can just focus on Anakin's rebellion to conform towards the Jedi's color scheme. Let's refer to the visual dictionary from episode 2 for our answer. As we land on Anakin's profile, by the way this book is really cool, as we land on Anakin's profile we get all the info we need from Lucas and his team. I mean obviously we can figure out what Lucas was doing, but if we stick to the story for the fun of it, then we can finally understand officially why he wore these colors, and the materials he specifically used. Let's start from the top with the dead giveaway. The unconventional tunic color expresses Anakin's independence. That alone is enough for this video's answer, but we have much more info. Next to it points to his tunic material. Synthetic leather surcoat offers more protection than traditional cloth garments. Why would Anakin feel he needs to wear this material when masters like Yoda and Mace Windu or even Qui-Gon Jinn didn't? It's because he was ready to fight at all times and confrontation was at the forefront of his mind. He obsessed over it, reflecting on his clothing choices down to the material to be ready at all times. The third and final point shows Anakin's clothing heading. Dark Knight. The tunic, robes, and cloaks worn by Jedi are honored traditions, but not uniforms. Oh, wait, one second. There we go, that's better. From the time they become Padawans, Jedi are free to dress as they choose. Anakin Skywalker breaks with tradition in his garments, both in their color and material. His distinctive dark clothing makes him stand out at the Jedi Temple, and draws concern from Jedi Elders. So while his robes are his to choose, meaning he can literally wear hot pink robes How or lime green or whatever he wants, it didn't stop the masters from becoming concerned with his clothing choice, reflecting back onto his personality and striking a red flag early on in his Jedi career. Just another reason why Mace Windu was always doubtful in his sincerity. I always felt like the subtleties to Anakin, such as his scar and the color of his robes that strayed away from the Jedi Order, was really what pronounced his turn to the dark side, and the fact that he was different in nature altogether. Much more powerful, much more talented, and much more rebellious. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, throw a like for Anakin's pink this robes, is outrageous. and I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. Let me know what you want to see. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember... The Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill.